your VS Code editor and go to extensions. Now go ahead and type live server. Then all you have to do is just click on the install button. So go ahead and click on this settings wheel and select extension settings. You'll end up on the main VS Code settings page. Now go into the upper right corner and click on this button. This will open VS Code settings.json file. Now we're going to add the Chrome browser to our live server settings. Simply open the double quote and start typing live server dot settings dot advance custom browser cmd line go ahead and close the double quote colon chrome or you can use firefox but in this example we're just going to stick to chrome okay now let's close all of the tabs and go back to a, a blank editor let's create a new project by going into file and open folder actually i'm going to right click and create a folder here I'm going to name it my project and then just go ahead and click the open folder button. Now we've just created a VS Code project. Go ahead and right click anywhere on the left sidebar and go to new file. I'm going to name my project file subscribe.html. Now I'm just going to paste my basic HTML code semicolon dot dev goes into the title. I'm going to create a header with subscribe now to run this html in vs code all you have to do is right click on the file and click on open with live server and as you can see our html is running in the visual studio code as a live web server directly on our local host live server will also automatically update your html page every time you update it so for example here let's run the, the example again and you will see that Every time we update the web page, it will actually change in real time without us having to refresh the browser again. And that's a really nice feature to have. And basically, it's going to save you a lot of time in the long run. I'm going to update my HTML and hit Control S and you will see automatically that's reflected in the Chrome browser. And really, that's all there is to writing HTML code in VS Code Editor.